Guys, I'm grateful for spare tires. I don't know if you guys have ever needed to use one, but I am super grateful for them. There's, there's been times where I've had a flat tire and luckily I had the spare in the trunk, was able to jack up the car and put it on. It allowed me to get to where I needed to go and fortunately I got to where I needed to go safely. Now, the, the big thing here though, of course I did not leave the spare tire on. Imagine just driving around everywhere with that spare tire. That would be pretty exhausting and fatiguing and honestly, it could definitely put you in more risk over the long haul, especially if you come across a, um, a big dip or a pothole or something like that. So where am I going with this? I want you to listen up. So I equate this spare tire analogy to, um, to the acute care that we receive in our, in our country. It's the best that I know of. In fact, my son just uh, last month, fortunately, due to um, a little uh, you know mistake, he ate some um, a piece of candy that actually had a peanut in it, and he has bad allergies to peanuts. Well, we ended up in the um, urgent care, and thankfully for them, he's okay. So I'm so grateful for um, crisis care intervention that our country has. I equate that to spare tires. That's what they're used for. They're used to. Be, they're especially meant to be used for a short amount of time, to be able to make sure that we're safe and protected, to make sure that there's no major things happening. But that's what they're designed to be used for. It's just a short period of time. Acute care crisis intervention, the best in the world, is here in this country. When it comes to having that same model and method, and if you go back and watch one of my other videos I did just recently. I talk a little bit about how we wouldn't go to McDonald's to get some sushi, right? So the reason why I share that is what is healthcare? So there's a healthcare and there's sick care model. And unfortunately, the majority of people in this country are buying into a sick care model when it's called healthcare. Now, when it is for that acute care crisis, perfect, because that is a, a situation. But when we are looking for health, in something that is a chronic illness, a chronic condition, you know, unfortunately we are told to basically just treat the symptom and manage it and live, live with it for the rest of your life. Would you drive across the country with a spare tire? Definitely not. That would be absolutely foolish. It would throw so many different functions off in your vehicle. And obviously, the chance of you getting to your destination would not be as good. So the analogy here is really to teach and to help people recognize and hopefully recognize what is your health philosophy? What do you believe? Why do you believe it? And what are you going to do about it? So if you get more clear on those things, then you can have more congruency and have more of that peace of mind to know like, hey, this is what I believe and this is what I'm going to do. Then guess what? good things will happen and you will probably find the resources that you need. But I see too many times people that will just learn to cope. Hey, Ange, glad that you are on with us um, and it's good to see you. But, the, you know, t sometimes people are just going to cope and they will just accept their situation as is and they'll just keep driving with that spare tire. Now, my invitation to you is to do everything you can because there's times I've heard people say, I've tried everything, but here's the phrase that they usually add to it. I've tried everything I know how to do and what I know. And that's the key is that sometimes we just don't know what we don't know. So again, the invitation is don't mm -hmm. settle. Don't just cope. There is hope. And Definitely make the efforts to recognize that just because the certain doctor or certain healthcare practitioner or certain diet or whatever it is, if it hasn't been working for you and it hasn't given you the, the results or the answers you're looking for, then that's frustrating, I understand. But don't quit because guess what? There is so much incredible information. There's so many incredible people that have so many incredible skills. And there's so many incredible ways to help our bodies be at its best. Our bodies are designed to thrive. They're designed to just function at such a high level. And we need to remember to give our body the credit it deserves because it is capable of doing that. So again, don't 
rely on the spare tire to get you across the country. Get the spare tire off as quick as you can, put on the right tire, and I promise you life will be good. You will find incredible joy in the journey as you diligently seek out and find the right tire to fit to where that spare tire once was. But definitely use the spare tire when you need it. And I have great respect and great admiration for those that do the acute care crisis interventions. So grateful for it. Um, but definitely don't settle when it comes to your help and especially your help over time because that's where our country is suffering so much is the chronic illnesses, the chronic conditions, and people unfortunately are just sticking with whatever the current solution might be, which might not be the right solution. So I hope this helps bring some insight to you guys and definitely want to empower you and encourage you to to just not settle. But remember, there is, you don't just have to cope, but there is hope. Um, again, look forward to interacting and engaging with you guys more in the future. Have a wonderful night.